voltammetry let's understand introduce voltammetry in voltammetry it is a electrochemical method where we measure current as a function of applied potential that means measuring current with change in potential if you change the potential current is not constant in certain environment and that is the study the, the reason behind changing current is some redox reaction within that environment which change in potential and in case of cyclic voltammetry the same thing measures the current as a function of potential by this cyclic that means repeating and then these are the basic components required in cyclic voltammetry voltammetry three electrodes working electrode working electrode where the redox reaction all the redox reactions occur counter electrode to complete the circuit and reference electrode that means with respect to this reference electrode potential measurement occurs and then nitrogen at atmosphere require so that aerial oxidation doesn't take place and then supporting electrolyte to carry charge and also little bit to decrease the mobility of the ion due to electrostatic attraction and then computer generated software for the software it means work, working electrode i already told you, al you also can note down this four points working electrode reference electrode counter electrode supporting electrode okay pausing this video you can note down all four points i already told you and then there are four types of parameters two types of currents in cyclic voltammogram and two types of potentials these four are important four are peak cathodic current peak anodic current peak cathodic potential peak anodic potential okay, later on in uh, in an example i will explain all these four terms four parameters here the important is the type of current in cv okay this one you come here types of currents in cyclic voltammetry the three types possibility migration convection diffusion but actually whole cyclic voltammetry setup is based on diffusion current this is the definition of migration current that migration current is due to electrostatic attraction movement of the ion due to electrostatic attraction results migration current which we need to avoid for our experiment in cyclic voltammetry convection current means stirring if you start the solution external force actually uh, external force actually what to say external force allows the analyte to move and hence there is a uh, there is additional current and then diffusion current due to concentration gradient of the analyte the higher region the analyte moves from higher concentration region to lower concentration region and hence the current generates which is called diffusion current in cyclic voltammetry one simple term scan rate scan rate means increase in potential with time okay or decrease in potential with time the bearing potential changing potential with time this is scan rate less time more time whatever in cyclic voltammetry what happens that this one is potential if you first want to reduce according to your analyte if you want to first reduce then oxidize then uh, you have to uh, reduce the potential and after certain potential you reach and then again you come back to that initial potential okay if you want to reduce and then first reduce and then oxidize 
according to analyte if you want first oxidize the analyte and then if you want to reduce then what have to do then you have to go to positive potential to oxidize that analyte and then negative potential and this one simple diagram and then this are randy shavik equation according to equation actually this equation is important to ensure that a redox reaction is reversible or irreversible and what we need to do that we have to plot a graph with respect to peak current and scan rate then if you get straight line then you can say that process is reversible and then fixed law the current actually generates due to uh, according to fixed law due to concentration gradient is a wind law well known law rate of diffusion is equal to division coefficient cross sectional area and then concentration gradient term and this one is simple cyclic volta motor and where it has been done that here initially this one is initial potential and then uh, potential has been decreased and then that potential recovered while decreasing that potential that analyte reduced at this point and this one is the maximum where maximum number of analyte had been reduced okay and this position potential is called ec that means peak cathodic potential and after that at same analyte reduced analyte oxidizes at this point and maximum number of reduced analyte oxidizes at this point and this one is called peak anodic potential okay this one is simple cyclic volta motor and this one is current due to decrease in potential reduction of that species current increases and here decreases because reduction actually results in incre increase in current <coughs> and here between peak cathodic potential and peak anodic potential there is standard potential of redox reaction the what wh what is the reason behind the peak cathodic potential is smaller this one is decreasing potential smaller than standard potential whereas peak anodic potential is greater than standard potential that can be explained using nernst equation this one is the final equation modified equation here if you want to increase the reduced form of that species then obviously standard potential should be higher than the peak cathodic potential this one okay in the same way you can explain that peak anodic potential why peak anodic potential is greater than standard potential and from the previous curve we can determine redox activity that means we can study redox activity of the analyte and then from this equation we can uh, study the linearity of the plot that ip versus scan rate plot and then we can comment on del ep that uh, anodic peak current difference between anodic peak current and cathodic peak current and also the values of anodic peak and cathodic current which is important to uh, introduce reversible or irreversible process to examine reversible or irreversible the process is reversible or irreversible that means rate of reaction and then you can calculate these values this is equilibrium for k equilibrium for redox reaction and how do you know the process is reversible the process is reversible can be known if you uh, go through the five points that ip is equal to I, ipa is equal to ipc okay i already here already mentioned what is ipc ipa <coughs> in previous slide also you can go through and then standard potential should be the half of the summation of ipa and ipc separation of the peaks for reversible couple always 0.059 divided by n volt this n is actually number of uh, electrons which is participate to reduce or oxidize the analyte okay 
and this separation actually 0.059 should be the peak position are independent of scan rate if you increase the scan rate that potentially if this is the position of APC or APA remains constant only current changes and here effect of scan rate for reverse over process you can see that if you increase the scan rate this one is scan rate and this one is current only if you increase the scan rate only current will increase no other change for reversible process that's why linear change in only current not uh, in position of that EPC or EPA okay so as you increase the scan rate more number of electrons flow in less time and hence increase in current and here the uh, com comparison between reversible process and irreversible process in case of irreversible process with increase in scan rate the current is only increasing the position remains same but in case of irreversible process decrease uh, decreasing rate constant the position also changes EPC or APA the position of EPC or APA also changes what is the reason because current maximum occurs at different voltage since electron transfer process are slow relative to the voltage scan rate that means as we increase the scan rate the reduction oxidation process does not take place according to the scan rate and hence in case of reversible process the position of EPC or EPA changes and this one is the potential count molecular orbital diagram here if you decrease the potential homo uh, decrease the potential in certain level homo of that electrode actually a little bit uh, higher will become little bit higher than lumo of uh, lumo of that uh, analyte and hence that electron jumps from homo of that electrode to lumo of that analyte at negative potential and this deduction occurs and the same way you can explain that at positive potential that decreases lumo of that uh, electro decreases and hence the homo little bit higher in energy electron jumps from homo of that analyte to uh, lumo of that electrode and hence oxidation occurs.